Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about something that we constantly have issues with, and that's deck board scraps. What do you do with all these scraps? You're always gonna have a couple feet of cutoff here and there, sometimes more, sometimes less. We usually, as a rule of thumb, keep everything 12 inches or longer, but then you always gotta store it and keep it somewhere. But I'm gonna show you a couple examples of what we do with our scraps and why we keep a hold of them. For one, uh, this is a product called TimberTech Azek. Azek is gonna cost you anywhere from six something to $7 a running foot. So this piece of decking is, to me is a scrap, but it also has a value of $14. So that's why I won't just throw these away. I, I don't recycle them uh, because I've used this piece so many times for different things. And we're gonna show you a couple, one of those things today, and then we'll talk about a couple more. If I have a scrap that's at least 18 inches tall, then I can make it into a planter box. So we uh, do that quite often on certain jobs where we might add planters with benches or things of that nature. So we save, we, we need like, if we do a three boards per side box, we need uh, 12 of these. If we make them four boards, we'll need 16 of these. And if you start adding up a 20 inch scrap, that's almost 14 bucks and you need 12 of them. You know, you got $150 in scrap that you didn't have to go out and purchase and cut up out of 20 footers or 16s or something like that. So planter boxes is probably one of our number one reasons we save all the scrap but we're on a current project build and i'm going to show you why this length and shorter or even a little bit longer is a really good reason to keep so let's go over here and take a look at this so you can see here we've built a curved staircase and the clients wanted us to hide everything the framing below so we have skirted this off we're not completely done we still have some more trim to add to it but you can see the vertical skirting so we use a lot of these pieces as part of our skirt build and we're going all the way down to six inch height pieces so so basically from this level right here all the way down was done in scrap maybe even up to here so from from here this way was all new product and then from here back was all cutoffs from other products that we were using either the deck or fascia or other skirting cutoffs and things like that so uh, we always try to hold on to our scrap. We try to keep it organized as much as we can. Right now it's a little bit of a mess, but we try to stack it up so it doesn't get all scratched up or, or dirty and that kind of things. And then we can use it for skirt. Another thing that we use scraps for, uh, you can see right here, I've got some wood scraps and some PVC scrap. I just needed to make a, a certain height area so I could just put when I'm cutting something on my chop saw. And this is all temporary setup. We have a nice cut hub setup uh, where these, these chop saws lock into rails, but I needed a chop saw really close to where I was working. So I just went in and brought the chop saw over here, piece of a foot long piece of PVC on top of it, put a couple screws in it, and now it's at the right height for cutting. Or something else I use scrap for, on this staircase that I built, I needed to figure out the degrees of each side of how to cut it all. And instead of trying to cut a full board and make it fit right, I use this as a template. So I'm using this deck board as a template. And you can see this one has some holes in it. You know, it was a mistake, a board that we had to pull. And there's a digger in it. So somebody like maybe stepped on a rock and dug into the board or something. So we had to pull that board. So I went ahead and used it as a template for figuring out different angles. And a couple different ways I do that is, one would be to draw a line and then I can just transfer my square to that and say, okay, this is one degree. Or I can actually cut it on the chop saw and I've done both ways. If I wanna make sure the fit is perfect, I'll cut this on the chop saw and then I'll take it back up into the spot that I want to check it and make sure that it's the right fit. And then I get my length and then I mark. So basically, here's my, here's my, here's my measurement. That's the length I need. And on that particular cut, I had a two degree on the left and a two degree on the right. So I can take this part, make that information, write it all down, and then I'm making a lot, a lot less cuts for my, for my final cut. Probably 80% of the boards I cut doing that method fit. And then about 20% of them, I had to recut them once or twice 
just because I didn't make an exact fit with the template. But templates are also a great way to use up your scrap, and we do that quite often as well. So, uh, hey, if you got any other ideas, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe if you got something out of it. We appreciate you coming to our channel and watching this video. Thanks for coming, guys. Have a great day.